it's Millicent Rosina Masango. I come from Gwandebele, a place called Bukenotuk. Looking back from the area where I come from, it's a, it's a rural place. As the years gone by, I could see there was a vegetation change from the time I was born, between then and when I was in my teenage years. So I started wondering what's, what's going to happen in the future. Are we going to lose all the trees? Like how is the landscape going to be? And that gave me an interest on studying about nature change and landscape change. And also when I watched TV, I couldn't see any black person. It was mostly white people who are working with animals or studying towards a nature conservation and so on. So I wanted to be the one to come on board and change the future. I went to Pretoria to further my studies in nature conservation. My first work in Senbi, it came through Krun Sebenza as a nature conservator in, in Kistenbosch Botanical Gardens. I was then uh, given an, an opportunity again uh, to work for, 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 for Senbi in this Airblow project. Uh, as a land use advisor, my job is to support uh, authorities uh, in developing in any developments that is taking place and also to advise them on how they can mitigate any environmental impact. So Millicent was essentially thrown into the deep end when she was appointed in the position of environmental officer. She has been required to, from her appointment, review applications for environmental authorization and run the process from beginning to end. I feel like the Sandby program has given her an opportunity not in terms of only learning technical skills but has somehow given her this amazing confidence that has benefited this department and this unit um, to it yeah, unbelievably. I've grown so much. They've exposed me to a lot of opportunities. What I enjoy the most is, is advising people about how we can conserve our nature especially with people back at home or in my community. The future is bright and the advice I, I can give to young people that, you know, the, the world is in your own hands, there's nothing impossible and if you believe where there's a will, there's a way.